I got a couple things to demonstrate to you today. And no, the color safe bleach wasn't part of that, but what the hell? Um, I'll just talk about it real briefly. Since I got it in my hand anyway. I was using this box to get the color temperature right because the uh I've been having some problems getting the color temperature right. So if you look in the box here, you see in the laundry basket, there's a purple, there's a blue, there's an orange, there's a yellow, there's a green. The box is like a blue color. It says Family Solutions. This is from Family Dollar. And then, of course, um, anyway, this stuff is really good. If you've got... If you're looking for color safe bleach that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, go pick this up at Family Dollar. Uh, I don't think they make a box much bigger than this. I didn't pay a lot for this, so it's a pretty good product. Now, today I, am, I wanted to demonstrate, well, I'm not going to hook it up right now, but I did get it. And I also had a chance to test it, it works fine. And this thing is a sheer M68. Pretty little thing, isn't it? And this is obviously was designed in the late 60s. It kind of goes good with this microphone here, um, which were probably would produce probably around the same time. And. Um, it's oh analog controls. It's so it's it is transistorized. It doesn't have any tubes or anything like that inside, and it's very nice because um, it's it's just a beautiful piece of kit. I mean, I looked at the inside of the circuit board, and a circuit board is well constructed. It's well laid out. I got the schematic for this, by the way. It got the phone, the original manual on the internet from Sure, and it comes with the schematics and all the wiring information. Now, let's take a look at the rear of this, shall we? You got your... Um, I need to explain this connector in a little bit, okay? We'll get to that later. I you have your audio input. That's like you can connect your MP3 or, turn, or, or radio cassette player. You have your... High level output, which is line level, you can use this to connect it to your um, cassette recorder, or you can use it to connect to your um, regular amplifier. In this both cases, both of these are RCA plugs. Please note this is a manual device. This is not stereo. If you want stereo, well, buy two of them. They're not that bad second hand. Um, this has a microphone output as well um, that supports both um, high and low impedance. I will explain the switches in a little bit. Um, so this is where this is called. They really should call this M68 MC because this has got male outputs on it. And of course, there's also the M68 FC. And the M68 FCA. Uh, FCA is female connectors. It's a newer version. Um, there's also the 268, um, which again is got female connectors on it. Um, this is because this is the male connectors. Uh, most people kind of tend to really don't like these that much. However, solution to that problem is really not that expensive. Um, this one came with these two pigtails. Um, this has two female connectors. Uh, and this is real switchcraft plugs. These are not, um, as far as I know, these are not Chinese. Um, these are American-made. These are real switchcraft um, XLR connectors on them. You will notice from looking at this wiring is that... Uh, these connectors, oh, this one's here is easy enough to take we can see how it's wired. Um, it's got your standard connectors inside here, and it just plugs right into the back. And these are these are di these are diagrams to know which wires are which, 
One, two, three, four. Okay. Why is it loose, you were asking me? Well, apparently it looks like the problem was is the screws are not holding it in place. This, there is no set screws on the bottom of this connector here. Uh, this is the only one that's missing the screws. The rest of them have all the screws here in the bottom. That's for the straight only for the plug. Um, you can go buy the, you make these things now that actually are just plugs to plug. <laughs> Like that. Okay, so if you want to go that way, that's fine. Um, now, the good thing about this gizmo is twofold. If you have, um, if you want to take this with you on the road, he's done here for now, and you don't want to run it on an inverter for whatever reason, if you take three 9 volt batteries in series, like Lumi said, and you connect a standard connector, um, quick disconnect right here. This is the plus switch. And then take the another wire and attach it to one of these screws here for the minus. It will run on, on 27 and a half volts uh, from three naval batteries. So you would be able to use this thing um, on the road without having to go through all messing it up. Now, by the way, really quickly, one other thing I also want to show you about these connectors really quick is that um, I mentioned about the low-high switches. The low-high switches allow you to adjust the impedance on your microphone hookup. Okay, now, I and I know that some way that doesn't really sound like a big deal, and, and it can be, because most of my microphones here are low impedance. But let's say I had one that's high impedance, and I wired it up with an adapter cable, as sure suggested to do. I would just set the switch to high, and then the unbalanced microphone would work on these connectors, because this is dual impedance. Uh, connectors right now everything on my kind of system is low impedance anyway so I'm gonna leave it preset for low impedance your MP uh, for you, you can see that where you can easily as I said plug in a cassette recorder or even a uh, CD recorder and if you have a pigtail splitter you can record stereo on both sides and also play um, most channels into a mono plug here and then you'd be able to use this thing to jam would this thing work with something like irig oh uh, the microphone adapter from um irig for the iphone yeah i don't see why not i mean you have two choices here um one you can because the irig is going to have a female connector on it you can plug, and if you have a short, stubby um, um, cable like the ones I show here, which has a male and female plug, you plug it in here. You set the low impedance on it. Make sure phantom power is off because it doesn't need phantom power. And then you can go ahead and have the other four microphone jacks can be used here for allowing you to... Um, connect up to four microphones and yes the pile works very nice on this as does of course the sure sm57 they both be, they both work beautifully this comes with an earthed plug which surprised me uh i thought this probably didn't it does it has an earthed earth connector right here on it so wiring wise it's pretty much set to go and um it is hypothetically possible that if you're using something like NICAD batteries on this thing, you probably could um, set up so you could recharge them at the same time. So, but uh, it's called an accessory power takeoff terminal. One of the purposes for an accessory power takeoff would be is to allow you to do things such as maybe you want to make a phantom power outboard adapter to power a condenser microphone you could uh, plug it in here and attach a little lead to it on the middle screw and it will allow for phantom power 
or you could um, use this as a uh, phono preamp for magnetic cartridge for a turntable because you can plug auxiliary in could also be for a turntable as well um, or if you got a ceramic cartridge turntable like I do in the other in the, in the closet and the other um, you could just plug it right in and, and listen to your favorite music and stuff um, so for a similar quick dirt little ditty for adding more inputs to a mixer or to a guitar head this probably would do a great job for you I don't really have a problem with it it's nice it's small it's very lightweight. It's it's actually very pretty. It's beautiful, actually. Um, I know what you're gonna say. How could something like this be considered beautiful? Well, let's put it this way. Tilton's poetry motion was going through my mo my mind when I was looking at the innards of this thing. Um, it's beautiful inside too, and um, would you necessarily need to recap it? Um, if you do, it's possible you might have to uh, uh, recap it eventually. Unfortunately enough, because it is solid state, it is using discrete components, it would be very easy to recap it. Um, the power supply part is point-to-point -point wiring, and, um, and it's just well put together. I mean, this thing, just like the song Poetry Motion says, this thing is beautiful inside, and uh, and that's something I like. I like beautiful innards. That works great with the iMac or the Power Mac G5. So now we can do voiceovers. That's something we did last night for fun. Yeah, we did some kick the tires around. Um, I think I definitely want to get a microphone stand in there, um, maybe a swing arm one, so I can. Um, be able to read some ad copy and stuff and um <laughs> and get a good report by the way i did sweep the microphones um let's be honest sm57 kicks serious ass i'm not kidding you this microphone kicks ass um the um the rebuilt pile eh, it's okay it's nothing to uh, write home about but it's it'll certainly get you there I mean, at about uh, about 50 hertz, 60 hertz, it's just, you know, I can start to see it picking up the frequency and about peters out about 5,000 hertz or something like that. But that's more than good enough for voice, and, uh, and it sounds really good. Um, but it's definitely not no SM57. No, it's not. Okay. So, anyway... I would suggest away for those of you again, like I said, if you're looking for some an easy way to add more inputs to your um, audio video gear, pick up one of these. It's really not that expensive, and it'll really seriously make your life a lot nicer. You will enjoy it. It really works very nicely. It's very very well made. And it's beautiful inside. Now, speaking of beautiful, let's talk about weather today before I forget, because it is our, her, our winter storm packs. Packs. I have not come to make peace. I have come to make war. So, a pox on you. Okay? I'm surprised they didn't call it pox. <laughs> Good question, Lou. Pox or packs. Packs, by the way, in Latin means peace. Yeah. Okay, um, and um, we're obviously, we're not talking about peace. This weather is not going to be peaceful. I ask people right now down there in Atlanta, Georgia, which are getting assaulted and uh, by both well, freezing rain, sleet, snow, and everything else, this is not exactly a peaceful storm. Uh, it's going to be, it's, it's developing as nor'easter. It's going to be up here in Connecticut tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, I know you are. I mean, this is my birthday tomorrow. Yeah, well, my birthday was yesterday. I mean, yeah, I know it was. It wasn't even that much to look at. Yeah, I know. Um, anyway, so, the, um, 
the weather is going to be eventually the cold is obviously going to start winding down it's it's we might get some more snow in the next few days but right now for the immediate time being is uh this is the big one yeah and um what do you think of this mixture thing uh it's a tool uh that's all i can really say about it is it's to me is is as exciting as an electrical powerpoint it's just a tool it's not it's nothing that i would you know write poetry about or you know make music on but uh it's just an instrument that will get possibly allow you to connect up the four microphones to inline input or into a microphone input yeah because you can plug this unplug this microphone plug it into the microphone output on this and then you can uh and then plug the microphone using another wire and then you would be able to add four more microphones think of it like a hub okay yeah that's a good one think of it as a hub exactly what it does and where it's the output is being concentrated by four inputs five inputs right okay so you can have five inputs you've certainly seen five input usb hubs yeah so think of it just like a usb hub in other words you got your microphone one two three four and same like michelle said uh a mp3 player radio record or record player whatever and you have all five hooked up set into one input so you can actually record them simultaneously yes what's your plans for this well the idea what i want to do is, is i want to allow it so that we can have uh a couple microphones set up so for um interviews and things like that we don't have to worry about trying to share all the same microphone because some people are loud talkers and some people are soft talkers and the idea was is to allow them to all kind of get together okay that sounds pretty good to me sounds good to me too by the way we um um like i said we washed your hair today and by the way michelle got fat again no please yeah okay i agree with that yeah okay by the way you're trying to look like dd cattrell <laughs> dd cattrell from only what hillbillies yeah she's smiling yeah okay fine yeah she's cute though dd cattrell from hollywood hillbillies I think I think you're a very very attractive young lady. We're about the same age, and, uh, and she's really kind of fun. So um, she's she shows. I think that when it comes to TV shows, I think that uh, David Weintraub never expected, like he said, that he was going to be managing a whole family. And I mean, I guess somehow he decided he went to a producer and said, "Hey, you know, I got a whole family of hillbillies. Would you like to use them for a TV show?" <laughs> Could be something like that. Could be. Yeah. You know what? Hey, can I get a publicist? Could someone tell me where I can find one? Anybody want to be my publicist? I really would like to get out there on the internet too. Here we are on the internet. Yeah, but not like not like uh, <clears throat> not like him though. Oh my god, I mean Oh yeah. You know, maybe you like maybe you like Mike Control said about his aunt, it's true. You know, she likes tension, slows her rolls, she takes a big bite out of it. Sounds like you. Well I don't like relish. Okay, slathers it in butter and takes a big bite out of it. Depends on what it tastes like. <laughs> true <laughs> i don't like certain things no i don't very picky all right anyway but the the point is is i yeah i would like to get out of youtube and and get onto the main onto the big uh, onto the house screen the house and i'd love to have the opportunity to show people some of my fun talents but because you know what the problem with youtube is and i did not mention this in my last video because there are so many videos to talk about this because of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, 
we are limited in what we can present to you. I can't sing to you because I could potentially violate the DMCA. I can't um, show you parts of videos because that might violate the DMCA. Um, I don't even know if I'm allowed to mention certain people's names because it might violate the DMCA. I like know that if I say something bad about those people, that I could potentially be sued for a libel or slander. So that doesn't make it easy for me to demonstrate and show you my talents. And, I mean, I really want to do some more than just, you know, just doing technical and stuff like this. I really would like to go out there and have fun. And, um, you know, I would love to meet uh, Dee Dee in person. I mean, she sounds a lot like me. I mean, I think me and her could probably could get, you know, you know, become very good friends. And I really would like to meet you sometime. Um, of course, I'd like to meet you too, Michael Cottrell, as well. I'd like to meet both of you. I'd like to meet all of your family. You guys sound a lot like, you know, some of us up here in the Northwest Hills of Connecticut, which is, you know, there's kind of, we got a lot of our own uh, versions of hillbillies up here. They're called the Raggies. The Raggies. The Raggies. The Raggies. They actually come from, you know, it's just like yeah, people from the Blue Hills of Kentucky. I mean, we're all kind of fun you know originally they came here to work in the iron mills and things like that and some of them would just kind of stick around you know and uh some of us are the the children of them and some of us others are kind of kind of raggy like anyway even though i was never a child of the raggies uh my family is of italian nordic ancestry italian norwegian so we're kind of fun too yeah okay so anyway the point is is that i'd like to meet you guys sometime and if anybody mr david weintraub if you could contact me um and let me know how much you would charge um and how you could help me further my career uh i mean i don't i'm not like you know my control I'm not the angry ginger of YouTube. I'm actually um, a pretty quiet person that can be up, up, very outspoken too. And uh, yeah, I am a little bit of a ginger. My hair is naturally kind of a red color, reddish brown, dark brown, red. It just turns out that I bleached it. That's all. And I think that I had a slight compliment you say. Uh, I, the uh, groundskeeper of the soup kitchen uh saint james episcopal church i was asking briefly what he knew about the weather and uh he told me about the snowstorm coming up this is on monday he said to him i said yeah it's gonna be right on my birthday he said what are you gonna be 20 22 i said oh yes you're so sweet no i'm gonna be 46. he says wow you don't look like 46. and i'm like of course not. I I mean I was just so in th I was just I just thought it was so nice of him to say that you know they thought I was forty six years old so you know really really cool. But um, anyway, the point is is that I want you all to like, comment, and subscribe and yeah and this by the way. So talk to you soon. Keep safe. Keep warm. Bye-bye, everybody.